waters around Vancouver Island hold many mysteries, including that of Diablo Rojo, known as the Red Devil by fishermen in its native Mexico and Chile. The giant squid was captured by a fisherman here, and 10 years ago this week, it was donated to the Royal BC Museum. Stacy Ross now with today's edition of This Week in History. They are called Diablo Rojo, Red Devil, by fishermen in their native Mexico and Chile. They start flashing red and they do that as they're feeding. The Humboldt squid is a voracious predator. They hunt in large packs. Smaller fish, larger fish. They also feed on other cephalopods, including themselves from time to time. They can be cannibalistic. At the top of the food chain, perfectly engineered to kill. They have these little suckers on their tentacles that have teeth in them. And once they have the animal, they are able to move the animal up towards their mouth. There's a beak, and you can see it's quite sharp, very similar to a parrot or a turtle beak. 10 years ago this week, this humbled squid, the first specimen in BC, we have to drain it out, was collected by a Cobble Hill fisherman and offered to the Royal BC Museum. He said, I've got this big squid and we'd like to donate it to the museum. When I got there, he took it out of his freezer, still frozen, and we knew right away it was something new. There are other squid species native to BC that look similar, and though it is sometimes tough to tell them apart, there are differences. They both have suckers, and they both have teeth on their suckers, but the teeth on one side are much bigger than on the other side, on the Humboldt squid. So what are they doing here? Ultimately, we haven't been able to figure out what has driven this northward range expansion. It may be an increase in surface water temperature or a decline in competition in northern waters, but these mysterious creatures are difficult to track. They do go through these vertical migrations every day, so they go down to deeper waters during the day and then they'll come up in the evening um, to feed at the surface. And they're fast, able to travel 100 kilometers in three or four days. Why are these specimens so valuable? It's absolutely important for us to be able to document that these squid were present back in 2004, 2005, 2006, so that we can determine a baseline for their presence. Museum staff encourage anyone who finds what they think is a humble squid to contact them. It's best just to put it in the freezer and give us a call. Because you never know, you may find something new. <laughs> Great looking squid. <laughs> and make your own history. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.